Hey everyone, John here and welcome to our spectacular In The Hoop Halloween Lanterns. Now when we are doing this project we want to use our prep patch or you can use two layers of water soluble stabilizer. Either one is your choice, you just want to make sure that you inset as much as you can the product within your hoop, make sure that it's in there very very securely pull it tight all around the straight areas so that you know the design will not shift. Now what I'm going to do, and you do this with either the water soluble stabilizer or the prep patch, is I'm going to put some T-pins inside where the two areas of the hoop meet. And I'm going to set the pin in one side, use a pair of scissors to make sure I can get out through the other side of the product so that I am holding this securely all the way across the open area. That is the biggest key for having a successful design is to make sure that we're not going to have any movement within the product as this is actually running on the machine because these lanterns can have quite a few stitches in them and you want to reduce the amount of pull especially on the long straightaways and again you can use either water soluble stabilizer I suggest two layers or you can use the prep patch when doing this product Now that everything's in place, we want to just make sure that it's nice and tight all the way around and now we can get ready to put it on the machine and run our first stitch, which is the outline of the actual entire design. I'm going to make sure that I trim any little threads away at this point to make sure it's going to be clean and no threads are going to be trapped within the project. Once that is done, then I will take my piece of mylar and you don't have to use mylar with this if you wanted to you could use an organza or any other very sheer thin material the mylar gives you that sparkle because there's very low density fill stitches that are going to run so regardless of what you use it will be low density so you can use either the uh, pep pratch with the mylar or you can use other products this is the very, very loose fill stitch and it will go in multiple directions and it's going sort of on an X in either direction, giving it some stability and this is what is going to sew all four panels of the lantern. It's the exact same thing if you're doing the smaller lanterns, the same way you see it here with the larger. Now it's doing all of the white stitching now I've used a white bobbin, a regular white bobbin, for every part of this project so far. There is some zigzag stitches in between the orange panels and those will give it a little bit of stability so that as you take this out of the hoop when it is finished sewing, it will actually turn on those creases but it won't fall apart because those zigzags are holding all the panels together. When it finishes all of the white detail, that's when we're going to actually take this design and we're going to take the hoop off of the machine. I'm going to look on the back, make sure it's nice and clean, clean up any areas. You can see that because we use white bobbin with the mylar on the back as well, it, uh, it kind of looks clean and it's going to be no problem. Now you can use this as an option, you don't have to, but if you want to you can use some of our puff stuff. This will just add extra dimension to the borders that are going to be sewn around each of the panels and it will also add dimension to the black spiders that are in one place. So if you don't have that product, no worries, you just run it without the puff stuff. I need to make sure that I change this to a black bobbin because I'm going to use a black top thread and that way it's going to look finished on both sides so if it's on the table and you see the borders around the outside of the orange panels, it will look nice and clean in both directions. Now the first thing it's going to stitch is each of the spiders, and once it's done the spiders, then it will continue to do all of the outlines around each of the panels. Now the panels are being sewn, the puff stuff is going to give it a raised effect and it will just continue sewing around each of the panels and then this design is done all of the embroidered elements. 
Now we're going to take it on the back side and again we're going to trim any extra little stitches that we might see just so it's nice and clean. So any little tails of thread we're going to just trim those away and make sure that we have a nice clean surface. You can see that because we used a black bobbin it looks nice and finished on the back side and the webs which we used a white bobbin look nice and finished as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over, I'm going to remove the hoop and I'm going to take all of the painters tape off that I used to hold the puff stuff down and we use painters tape also to hold the mylar in place. If you were using a piece of organza you'd want to tape that in place as well. And now I'm just going to tear away all of the mylar, the mylar will actually tear away very easily or the sparkle sheets and then we're just going to tear away the edge of the patch prep to the design and then we'll want to make sure if you did use the optional puff stuff you want to try to trim fairly close to the actual embroidery just to get rid of as much of the puff stuff as you can so it's going to wash away nice and clean and not have too much residue from that extra piece. Plus you can use that puff stuff for other projects as well. Now that everything's nice and trimmed close, all of the excess puff stuff is out of the way. I trimmed any extra threads that I saw and now I'm just going to take that entire piece and I'm going to run it under the tap with lukewarm water. I use a soft toothbrush just to get all the little pieces of the puff stuff out of the areas with the embroidery and then I let it dry. Once it's dry I take all four pieces, fold them over and at the area that connects as you can see I use some tape and just tape that one inside corner in place and I have beautiful little Halloween lanterns to give you a spectacular Halloween. Hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time.